Hey there, everyone. I uh, thought we'd start today a little bit differently. And I mentioned in the last episode that I was going to uh, maybe go into paint and or sketch up and throw together just some basic, basic floor plans and foundations for uh, a house I'd like to make. So I don't usually do I like creative, messing around in creative too much. So I feel, <laughs> I feel that once I built a building that I will not want to build it because I've already built it, if that makes sense. So <laughs> I went ahead and went to SketchUp. You can do this. It's a free program. You can just draw squares and uh, move them around so you can make buildings that way. And I kind of just took nothing's uh, to scale in Minecraft, but I just kind of just did a rough sketch of what I thought it might look like and trying to keep in mind some sight lines and that's what I came up with. So I got a little pool here and which is going to kind of, it might extend further to kind of hang over the area like we have it, but basically this would be the front entrance. A couple windows and a staircase going up there and I'd have a kitchen in this area here with a big either glass wall or bar something like that and it's hard to kind of go inside with SketchUp I found or maybe I just don't know how to use it that well but basically I would you would come in through here this would be a walkway going down to the left which would be maybe the storage room off to the left and off to the right here, I'd like to have maybe some bubble elevators and drop chutes. There's a little uh, kind of outcropping there, so I might put that there. And um, maybe some paintings and item frames on the staircase showing our first wooden pickaxe and whatnot. And then as you go up that staircase, uh, let's see if I can do this. Maybe I'll just delete it. Um, I think I can delete the ceiling here just so we can look into the floor plan. There we go. So basically you'd come up here into the staircase and a little bit here. And you would be able to, I think off to the left, I might have some divided rooms into maybe some more storage or something. And off to the You'd come out and around the railing, and maybe here I would have some, uh, maybe an enchantment set up, and some brewing, some brewing there, along with some other chests along that wall. So nothing crazy, nothing, uh, nothing too much. And then I have back on this wall. This is kind of be where the terrain would be. My <laughs> my rough diagram of what a hill would be. So, um, I'm sure I'd put more windows in. I'd like to have these uh, kind of shorter windows in between. They're going all the way along, or at least part of the way along. So this isn't all just flat. And then you have some windows, some sky windows coming down here. So when you're in the kitchen in the morning, you can kind of see the sunrise come through this window and these four windows here. So. Um, oh, and then there's another room down here, which, yeah, I might just put some bulk storage and um, if it's wide enough, I could put a tree here, grow one of the tall trees, but I'm not sure what would go in this uh, kind of obsolete space here. So uh, maybe brick. I did notice we have a lot of clay around, so maybe I'll do a brick roof and put stone brick here and maybe Maybe some, uh, I don't know, I don't know what kind of other, uh, maybe andesite or something, I don't know. I don't want it to be too gray, so I might mix in some some posts and beams, but yeah, that's the kind of general idea of what, uh, what I'd like it to be. So yeah, check it out. This program's really fun to just mess around. I've always had, an, I've always wanted to build my own home, so... You can always practice on this and 
get an idea of what uh, sight lines and whatnot. So it's called uh, SketchUp. Oh, go, yeah, go ahead and have fun. I'm, I'm going to drip back into the world and we'll maybe I'll do a little bit of a time lapse of me getting some sand and clay and other materials to build it. that montage and I thought I'd uh, just talk to you guys a little bit about the design process here of our house. It's actually, I was looking, it's actually the perfect size for this mountain. It, uh, it only goes off by two or three blocks down off the side this way and that way so um, somehow it fit perfectly and I, I ended up, um, I know in the SketchUp design you guys saw I brought it out a little bit more because I thought it'd have a nice kind of like small degree of angle on the house to make it not look so flat. So I was going to put that in and uh, get to work on throwing up some of the strut, struts and on the second later make make that, that story out of uh, wood. So it wouldn't make much sense to make the walls out of wood down here as wood is wood would have a harder time holding stone up on the second layer. So I thought I might put these here, this andesite here as uh, maybe the initial layer to the house and build that up a little bit, have these as windows and see how that gray looks. It's sort of like a almost like a like a type of concrete like you'd pave you'd fill this in with concrete and build the first foundation out of concrete kind of modern house and then on the second layer you'd have that wood since the stone would easily hold up the wood so i might run around the edge here plan out where i'm going to put the windows and maybe put a base floor down of i was going to think granite but then that's too much stone Although it kind of looks like a shag carpet, <laughs> if you look at it. So that's an idea. I'm not sure. Uh, you can always mention in your comments what you prefer. But I'm going to, I think I'll throw it on just oak. Oak down here as the floor. Or maybe even birch as the floor here. So.
this is a kitchen window here. I thought I'd just mention this real quick. I'd like to have this back wall as our kitchen so we can have, uh, you know, like you know, a refrigerator, a large sink, a stove, or a, you know, a cooker, and um, possibly even putting a brick, brick furnace behind here kind of to fill up this empty space which could extend through the ceiling and the roof of the next floor. It kind of it would kind of make sense because then it, you would be heating the house from a central location. If there were, you know, <laughs> for real, real life. So I think I might do that and fill in this, this wall. So it's, it's going to be very bland and, you know, kind of stark, these walls. So we're going to have to put a lot of paintings in and make sure we fill it in with color. But I like the... I like the birch in here because it's, it's a little airy. It's like not a lot of people like to use birch as in buildings, but I think when you contrast it with this gray, it adds a little airy feeling to it. So I don't know if exactly I'm explaining that correctly, but that's how it makes, that's how I see it. So I'm going to keep going with the floor here. I'm going to have to get some more birch, but I'll fill this in and kind of lay out where the staircase will be next. Hey there, I'm back again, and I laid out some of the foundation. This is all I had with andesite, so I'm gonna have to go find some more. But yeah, check it out. So you'd be coming in through this front entrance. There'd be a well, more of a more so of a deck here with some lawn chairs that I'd like to make out of uh, quartz. So we're gonna have to go to the nether pretty soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, this will be the kitchen. This is gonna be a full wall. Of stone here and I'm gonna put some big windows here as picking up panes I don't know what I don't know if I want to use any colored glass in this but um, you can just imagine this is gonna be a large large wall here and have the kitchen either the kitchen table here and the kitchen in this corner or something one of those variations and then here I like now that it's thinking about it. Maybe disguise this as a closet where you'd put your coats and shoes, but in reality you'd open a door and you'd have two bubble columns here. One, this one would come from Y11, and this would come from maybe our farm. And then in between here you can you can divide these up with trap doors. And make both of these their own separate drop shoots. So this one would go down to Y11, and this one would go down to the farm. So we can fit basically an elevator in this four by one spot, which is pretty sweet. And I thought I'd keep in the little windows. Um, I'm not sure what direction this is. Um, north. So I'd have north and south facing windows. This one wouldn't get much light. Um, but it would add to some ambiance of the room. And then here, once we get spruce, I'd like to make a false wall out of the spruce. So that way the hallway is not too wide. Instead, it's almost three wide with the spruce. And you come down here, and I was considering this to be either a linen closet or maybe split it in two and have it be a bathroom in the linen closet where, you know, we could store... Maybe armor 
in here. You know, you don't really need a whole area for armor, so maybe just a small closet for that. But then these would each be their own separate separate bedroom. So uh, maybe this would be the master suite, and you could put a big double bed here with a with a nightstand or maybe even a desk, and then you have a hallway here. This will be a window, kind of just to bring in some of that extra light. And this is more of a smaller guest bedroom, but it has a great view. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts with the layout here. And I'm gonna go get a bunch more andesite and see where the floor and the roof need to be, for, or the floor and the ceiling need to be for this. Wonderful. So I got uh, a lot more in to say. It should be enough to finish this floor, this story. I have to think. And this is I marked out where the um, the next floor will be. So basically, I could put a half slab on on this layer and have that as the ceiling to kind of break up the the same feeling of that you get from on every floor so we'll do that get some windows in and while I was doing that that initial t part of the time lapse in the beginning of the episode I was listening to a really short just a short story by Sir Conan Arthur Doyle which if you know if you've read any Sherlock Holmes or uh, oh one of his other great books is is The Lost World which is similar to well, I guess Jurassic Park would be similar to The Lost World which uh, Michael Crichton wrote Jurassic Park and he's a great science fiction writer as well um, I, I'm an avid reader so I love I love reading and listening to books but I was listening to it, and I want to build a little, a little monument to, <laughs> to kind of share, share that story. So, uh, it, it was called, um, the the story was called uh, Silver Axe or the Silver Hatchet, and I don't want to ruin too much because I'll, I'll link it in the description so you guys can listen to it as well but and it's only it's only 45 minutes long so it's it's not too long of a read or a listen and basically the story without revealing too much of stories about this hatchet that has magical properties which causes mania and and I'll, I'll let you listen to the rest. It's not a long story, so there's not much to it, but I, I found it hilarious and and interesting in the same sense. So I thought after uh, maybe in a couple episodes I will build a little remembrance to that book. So anytime I see it in my world, or see it in our world, we and I pass it, then you could think, oh yeah, that was a good, that was a good book. So if you... Uh, you end up listening to it too then every time we pass it you'll, you'll have the same feeling so <laughs> I'm not sure where we'll build it but maybe maybe I'll get some get a few iron blocks enough to make like a pixelated axe and stick it in one of these tall trees or something so <laughs> that might be a, that might be an interesting tribute to that in any sense, I've just, yeah, this is, this should be a good floor here, or a good foundation. So I think we're done. We'll have little windows in here, pocket windows, and again here. 
Um, yeah, I'll do that. And I brought some paintings. I keep placing torches. I brought some paintings, so I like to put some. The guy walking. Yeah, that one's a good one. I'll put that one there. Maybe I'll put. Maybe I'll put one. Well, this is gonna be a linen closet, so I better section this off. Possibly a bathroom. So I won't put any. Yeah, I already ran out, so <laughs> I have to get some more to fill in these walls. But let's see where else I can put a painting. Oh, I kind of want this to be a wall here, so I won't. I won't exactly put a painting here because this would be a sort of a a closet in its own right. But I will put doors like this. And I made a second red bed, and we can get a good little window going. So when we do sleep, we'll be able to wake up to the wake up in the morning to that. And I might fill this one in so that way we can have like have a closet here in this wall as well. So there's that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great picture. And we won't put one here. Maybe a, maybe we can get a small one on here. Yeah, that works. Above the door. And one in the kitchen. And too big. Just a two by two, please. Yeah, that's a good one, sure. So we got that. Adding some uh, life to our modern home. And... I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good progress for today. I would like, in the next episode, to finish up this floor, at least with the walls, and add some more, more details in the meantime. And then I'd also probably would like to go on another adventure and find some spruce so we can spruce up the place. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> and I'll finish this, I'll finish the rest of this floor off camera and find a good uh, contrasting color for the second floor, the second story. So I hope you enjoyed. And I almost forgot to mention that little adventure we went on to go find some sand in the beginning, the time lapse. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. I, I was surprised on how far the ocean was going. I didn't want to go all the way out there because it just kept going. So I stopped that, but there's uh, there were a ton of drowned, which is good to know so we can get uh, some tridents later on and zip around. So I will uh, I'll keep that in mind for later. And I'll keep working on uh, on our little our little house here. I can't wait. I love I love Christmas, but I can't wait till these are gone. <laughs> it's just not the same feeling with these massive presents all over the place. So all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I will uh, continue making progress on our modern home on the hill and uh, if you have any suggestions for things maybe we should name our home go ahead and shoot them in the comments so all right bye bye